Thank you for joining us on this journey. The video of my life and everyone else I come in contact with. Life, friends, family, uh, acquaintances, people that I've yet to meet. Uh, this is our first. We are on the porch with Angelo Kundarakis. Hi, please. His wife, Patty. That's me. And as I've stated in previous videos, the premise of this video is to bring a little more positive spin to the world. There's so much negativity. There's so many people out there that they just, they want to rain on your parade and piss in your Cheerios. Excuse me. Excuse me. Uh, we, we are going to take a few minutes and talk with and Andy. I said Angelo, but now this, everybody knows he's Andy and Patty and hear their backstory. And we're also going to hear what they're doing now and kind of just what their beliefs are as far as, you know, where they get their strengths from. Uh, first off, we'll, we'll let ladies go first. Patty, uh, where are you from? I'm from Panama City, Florida. Panama City. Now, there's a lot of people on my channel and my uh, Facebook page that know Panama City. I was born and raised there, lived in the same house my whole life until I married this young man here. All right. Yeah, there you go. So you, you actually you actually moved to Cali together? Yes. Okay. 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 He had lived there prior. Right. Right. And he came right. back here. Okay. And then we decided to get married. Yeah. Well, my sister is married to her brother. Okay. All right. Okay. And I was at my sister's all right man. cupid shot another one man. Love it, <laughs> there you go. oh absolutely man, isn't it amazing it. that's the way it was with me and my wife you know when you see the one that you're like that's the one i've been yeah, looking yeah. for that's the one you know well, it was uh <laughs> it was strange because my mom and family had told me that she was real sobbing Yeah, right, 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 right. But uh, you took a little more polishing in the relationship right. than she did. I got you. I got you. I got you. Right. Well, so you are originally from California. No, I'm originally from uh, Mobile, Alabama. Alabama boy. Okay. Yeah, my uh, parents were building. They run up bills. In trouble, mm -hmm. and we moved, and we started in Alabama, mm -hmm. and we ended up in California. Whew, that's a that's quite a journey there. And, uh, uh, I can't tell you how many schools I went to. Yeah. Um, I um, it was a journey, isn't it? Um, they left me uh, in Bakersfield when I was 14. They left you? Yeah, when me and my dad got in an argument. I was a pretty good kid, but he was fine uh, to my sister. And I thought he was going a little too far. Uh -huh. And so did my mother. And so he went in to try to pull him off my sister. The way she did, my dad put my mom on the floor. Oh. And I was already doing it. Mm -hmm. He was bumping. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Of all of that. And so I jumped on my dad. We stopped on the road. Mm -hmm. He told me if I couldn't live under his rule. I had to get out of this house. Well, at the time I was, you know, I was only 14. 
now is really upset. So I left and went and stayed with a friend for three or four days. And when I came back, they were gone. That's I didn't know where they were. That's unbelievable. Yeah, so I ended up staying on a tree for about four and a half, five years. That's, that's amazing. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's, that's amazing. Right here. Right. Yeah, after four and a half, five years on the street, uh, I met a young lady and her mother tried to help me out. They ended up getting me off the street and, uh, I, could, I had no idea because mm -hmm. I really didn't know who I was. Sure. I mean, I knew who I was, but I didn't know what I was going to do. Right, right. You I didn't, had no social security, no, right. no birth certificate. Right. It was a big struggle. I bet it was. But uh, they got me off the screen. I started doing my odd job, and then I finally got a job, a good job, and I do it in the lake. Yeah. Well, I started as a carpenter, got my journey to the mm -hmm. carpentry, and then in 89, they called me kind of. Right, yeah, I kind of. And uh, I ended up getting into insulation. I've been doing insulation. That's what you've been doing. So since '89, that's yeah, that's good. That's a good little piece of time to, to uh, dedicate yourself to. Yeah, it was a long time. And, uh, I how I met Bad was. Uh, me and the girl that the girl that threw me off the street, her and her mom, uh, I and the baby broke up. Mm -hmm. And when they broke up, I started drinking a whole bunch. And then started doing a lot of methamphetamines. Mm -hmm. I drink at night, do meth during the day. So I can work. Right, keep, keep that constant cycle it going. It got real, real bad. Right. And uh, my uh, <laughs> boss said, we were good friends. He said, Andy needs to get away. I'm going to give you a leave of absence from the company and you need to get away. And so I went to my mom lived in Panama City, and so I went to hang out with my mom. Mm -hmm. And my sister, my sister, mm -hmm. and uh, I was at my sister's house when I met Pat. Uh, mm -hmm. A blessing. Oh yeah. How, was, how amazing is that? That you know you took you were you were you were under such torment out there and. The, the boss the boss is the first angel of your life yeah he said he saw the problem and gave you the opportunity to to do the right thing and you did you yeah. got away from it you come in and then here's your life partner for the rest of your life yeah. I mean that's like winning the lottery you know yeah I, just told him I, told him I went to work for his own boss. is that right yeah <laughs> well what happened was was I came to family mm -hmm. There was no work in family Oh, yeah. And so I started dealing with marijuana. Uh -huh. I go, to, I have a cousin who lives on the border of Mexico, mm -hmm. Brownsville. Right. I go to Brownsville, pick up a family here. And uh, so. Yeah, oh, yeah. Brownsville, I'm sure Brownsville is still known for that. Yeah. I have a lot of friends who do college and stuff like that. You yeah. hear folks going, we're going to uh, wherever for spring break. And you always do the businessmen out of the bunch because they'd say, well, we, I got to make a stop by Brownsville first. You know, yeah. and that was like, 
acting. Oh, oh, what's he doing? You know. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. We got gone see the dancing. I went to jail. She bailed me out, got me a boy. I was mad. I was real mad. He would have been done with if the probation officer had to call and beg me to get him out of jail. There's there's another angel in your life right there. They was they were tormenting him in jail, and she said, "You've got to." Something or they're gonna hurt him back. Yeah. And I said, I'm done. I don't I don't play that game. You cut and your loose, huh? Yeah. She, um, <laughs> it was the next day she called me again. She said, I don't think you understand. You've got to do something. Yeah. If you have the means, you have got to do something. Absolutely. They are really